Hey, what's going on everyone? Bass here. So I got some breaking news out of Green Bay. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers has tested positive for COVID-19 and is out Sunday versus the Kansas City Chiefs. A little bit of a different scene here. I'm currently at work, so I had to go out in the car and make this video. I'm not at home. Wanted to break this news as quick as possible because it is definitely some big news. So quarterback Jordan Love will start Sunday versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, Kurt Banker also tested positive yesterday, so this was kind of a thought in the back of my mind thinking... Hope this doesn't happen, but they're in the same quarterback room, they're in the same meetings, team meetings and all that, close proximity. So it was definitely a thought in my mind that I thought could happen, and now we see that it has. Now, Ian Rappaport also put uh, out a tweet saying that Aaron Rodgers is unvaccinated, so that's why he's definitely out Sunday. Um, this goes against the report on August 26th by Rob Demosky that pretty much said he is vaccinated, so something is wrong here. Um, Aaron Rodgers did say in that interview that he's been immunized, so that could also mean maybe he had COVID in the summer, and that's what he considers immunized. Not exactly sure, but like I said, either way, either Ian Rappaport's wrong or Aaron Rodgers kind of put a play on words there. But at the end of the day, for the second year in a row, we will not get Aaron Rodgers versus Patrick Mahomes. I was at that game, that previous one, where Patrick Mahomes got hurt before and we didn't see uh, Pat Mahomes versus Aaron Rodgers, but still a really good game. And it might be like that again this game. So Jordan Love will get the start, play the 4-4 four and four Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I would assume that they would elevate a quarterback, sign a quarterback to the practice squad, then elevate them uh, to be the backup. If that wasn't the case, if they didn't sign a quarterback, which I seem unlikely, Randall Cobb would be that emergency quarterback, I would assume. But just more and more bad news for the Green Bay Packers. They've been so banged up and injured and with COVID and all this this whole year just the odds are always against the Green Bay Packers even last week going against an undefeated Arizona Cardinals team without Devontae Adams, Alan Lazard, MBS and then throughout the entire year without playing uh, without Bakhtiari uh, most of the year without Jair Alexander, uh, Zedaria Smith, Josh Myers has been out there's just that whole offensive line has just been moving around and around and around. And this just continues to happen to Green Bay. But this team is still resilient. I think this team can still win with Jordan Love at quarterback against Kansas City. Um, Kansas City is not playing good football. Their offense is still explosive. Their offense is still good. And as it always should be with Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. But the thing that is not good about the Kansas City football team is their defense. So I expect our defense to play well against the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, obviously... You always expect the Kansas City Chiefs to score, but our defense has been playing a lot better this year. So I expect them to kind of hold up against Kansas City. The thing you would worry about, obviously, now is the offense. How will it uh, respond and how will it go against the Kansas City uh, defense with Jordan Love at the helm? Now, if I were to pick a game to put Jordan Love in to say he could succeed, it would be this one. Like I said, Kansas City's defense is just not a good defense at all. So I'm very interested to see how this game goes. We'll see more Jordan Love. We saw him a little bit in the preseason. It's going to be a very tough game. But that does it today for today's video. I uh, just wanted to break that news to you guys real quick. So on that note, I'll catch you on the next one. As always, go Pack Go.